I love you because why hate you? Or what? I don't have the energy or the time to hate anybody. I can dislike the things you do and still love you. today i just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys and tell you sorry that i have not been putting up videos i've been a little busy moving i wanted to get on here and talk to you guys and do a little you know maybe muck muck you know what i'm saying you know how i do a little shrimp little crab you know what i'm saying and I got my little handy dandy water here. Everybody that knows me personally knows that I love water. It's my favorite as long as it's ice cold except sips. So let's get into this video. I just wanted to get on here and say, I just that I was talking about people think they know you. People will talk about you. People will say things about you. The same people that you help, that you love, you know, your family. Your family will turn on you before a stranger turn on you. You hear me? I've always been the person that helps people, that loves people, that shows people kindness. And I don't always get that. People talk about me, look down on me, act like I done did stuff to them I ain't even did. Lie on my name has made me feel less than. But I don't let that define who I am or how I treat people or the things I do for people. Because there's people to this day that has done me wrong and I still will help them. People don't treat me right, no matter what I will do for them. It's like if you tell somebody, no, you the bad guy. I try and help people. I try and be nice. I try and be kind. I try and do people how I would want to be done. I don't hold my tongue. I don't hold my tongue for nobody, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. But for a long time, I was young. I would let people like do what they wanted to me, walk over me, talk to me any kind of way, treat me any kind of way, put their hands on me when they wanted to. And I'm 31 now. I don't, I'm not gonna dwell on things. I'm not gonna say things more than once, not even to my children. If I say it, do what I say. If you don't wanna do it, go on about your business. I don't hold nobody up from nothing. I don't want nobody to fail. I want everybody to be great. I want to be great. And I want the people around me to be great with me. I'm not going to let what other people do hinder me from my goals, from what I want in life, where I'm trying to be. I want to be as close to God as I can possibly be other than being dead on this earth. I want people to see my glory when they see me. I want people to see the real me, not the me that they just think they know. Because who I was two, three, four, ten years ago, I'm not that person no more. People will lie on me. People have lied on me and said I haven't talked about them. Other people have told them I talked about them and they believe it. I've lost friends over it. They family say something, so it got to be true. I don't feed into none of it because God know me and God know my heart. But I want people to come together. I want people to understand that you don't have to be mean to people. You don't have to lie on people to get credit. You don't have to like turn your back on people. You can be nice. You can help others. And I want y'all to know that I love everybody. I don't care what you do to me, how you talk about me. I love you because why hate you? For what? I don't have the energy or the time to hate anybody. I can dislike the things you do and still love you at, from a distance. At that, I don't be in nobody lane. I try to help people as much as I can within staying in my own lane. I need to tell me some of the stuff y'all want to see. I know I've been gone for a minute. I want to tell y'all a lot of the stuff that I go through because I feel like if I tell you what I'm going through, Maybe you won't have to go through it because you'll see it before it comes. Maybe you'll learn from it and get to where you want to be, how you want to be, and not have to worry about what others think of you. When I was young, people's opinions of me mattered like a lot. Like even people I didn't know, people I just met. I would have anxiety. I still sometimes have anxiety meeting new people and going around people and stuff like that because of my anxiety of what they would think of me, what they're going to say about me. And then I realized it don't matter. God got me at the end of the day. I didn't grow up going to church 
reading the Bible. I probably can count it on both my hands how many times I went to church before I got grown. And I don't knock my mom or nothing like that because that's all I had was my mom. She worked a lot. There ain't no book on how to be no parent. So that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. I'm human and I'm trying to do better. And God knows my heart. You don't have to lie to nobody about nothing because people's opinions of you like I said before, do not matter. You have to be honest to yourself. You have to be true to you. Let me tell y'all about how me and my husband got together. Well, you might as well tell y'all how we met first and then how we got together because we didn't do those things at the same time. Me and my husband was going to a community college where we live and um, we had a mutual friend. And our mutual friend... Um, <laughs> our mutual friend used to try and like hook us up. Like he would ask her to like come and talk to me and see if I would talk to him and stuff. And I used to be like, girl, no, I wouldn't talk to that boy. Like, what is wrong with you? Don't be asking me that. Tell him to leave me alone. Like I was mean then. I, I used a lot more words than that, but I can't say them on here. <laughs> I was mean, and he ne he like he didn't stop trying. Like he constantly tried, and then I ended up having to stop going to school because my mom got sick. So I kind of like withdrew. So I withdrew, and back then I would like go out to clubs with my friends or you know my cousins, whatever, and. I would see him in like several occasions spread out. Like these weren't like weeks apart. They were more like months apart. I would see him at a club and he would try and talk to me, get my number, all that kind of stuff. So one time I gave him my number while we were at a club. The club was called, I think we were at Blue Bar or something like that. Some crazy name. So I gave him my number. When we left the club, um, he called me. Me and my friends were at Waffle House, I believe, sitting in the car, finna go inside. And he called me and he said um, something about a sexual something. And then I just like hung up the phone. I didn't talk to him. I didn't call him back. Nothing. I didn't even see him for a long time again. I see him again at another club. I ignore him. He's trying to talk to me. I don't talk to him because last time I seen him, he was talking about sexual stuff and I wasn't talking about none of that. I already had a kid. I was on strike. We didn't talk then no more. And then I had started working at Whataburger. Him and his friend walk in. They come in and I'm working front register. So I'm like, okay, this got to be God playing a trick on me. This got to be meant to be. Because every time he see me and he try and talk to me and I tell him that, I say, this is God. And he just look at me and he's like, what you mean? And I was like, I have never had a dude try and talk to me so many times, like so many times after I didn't like diss him. And I'm the type of person, I'm mean, like I'm going to diss you, diss you. I'm going to make you never want to talk to me, look at me, be my friend. <laughs> Nothing. He was like, oh, okay, get my number. He still had my number. So I just told him, call me and So he called me or whatever. So I had his number. Probably like a week later, I texted him. And I was like, what you doing? He was at work. I was like, well, what you doing later or whatever? And he was like, Nay, you gonna come see me? Yeah, I guess I'll come see you. We texting and stuff this whole time, but I ended up going over there. Come to find out later on that he thought I was somebody else the whole time. A whole different girl. The whole time he writing me. Like he knew who I was at my job, but like the whole time he was writing me on the phone, he thought I was somebody else. I go see him, I want to say it's October, October 26, 2012. That day, like we spent all day together. When I went over there, he cooked for me and everything. Like we didn't do nothing though, because that's, that's the first thing a dude want, is to do something inappropriate. <laughs> Not me, I ain't want to give him none, even though he had tried. For so long, I still wasn't with him. He cooked for me, being all nice. He asked me if I could take him to the store because he ain't had no car then. He lived like right across the school from the college. His job was like right around the corner. He rode his bike or whatever. He had his own place. And he was a little younger than me. <laughs> Just a smidge. I ain't no cool girl now. You know what I'm saying? He asked me to take him to the Halloween store or something like the party store or something like that. 
I can't remember what they call. They both look the same to me. So I take him or whatever, and he trying to figure out his costume. We go. I help him with his costume. I help him make. And then I leave. Like, he going out that night. I'm going out that night. But we going to two different places. So I go where I'm going. He go where he going. And we said we're going to meet up later. So when I get out the club, no, no, when I get out the club, when I used to get out the club, because I don't really go no more. Like, when I used to go to the club, I'd be hungry when I'm leaving because I didn't either been drinking, dancing, talking, whatever. I'm hungry. It's late or it's really early in the morning. I'm hungry. So I was like, maybe he gonna be hungry too. So I called him and I was like, you hungry? And he was like, yeah. This place that sells chicken is called The Dwarf. I love it. It is like the best chicken in the world. It's crispy, it's juicy. It is the bomb. It's called The Dwarf where, I'm, where I live. I go get him like a six piece chicken wing whatever and i go get me a brace uh sandwich because i love chicken breast like they're my favorite so that's what i get or whatever and then i go over there and he laying in the bed he done left the door unlocked for me he laying in the bed <laughs> throw like he's so so throw like he tired i was tired too though i give him the food we talk a little bit we eat and we lay down and go straight to sleep. Now, this was my thing. Most of the time when you go over a man's house at wee hours in the morning, they gonna try you. Like, they gonna try you big time. Sleepy, drunk, tired, all that. They gonna try you. He didn't want. He went to sleep. I went to sleep. He was not out. Woke up in the morning. I think I even woke up before him, but I guess he felt me move. So he got up. He got up. He talking about he didn't want to take a shower, blah, blah, blah. And the day, like the day before, he was like, you gonna come take a shower with me? And I was like, yeah, he went and got in the shower and I never went in there. That was before I took him to the store. So this day, he said the same thing. He like, you gonna come get in the shower with me? And I was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, right. So I was like, huh, don't doubt me. So he go get in the shower. I sit there for a little bit just because he said, yeah, right. And then I go get in the shower with him. It was just something about him. Like after I hung out with him that whole time, cause it was hours, it was like, 12 hours we was together before we left each other the very first day. It was just something about him then. I really liked it and I just felt like God was like trying to put us together or whatever. And I had started going to church and getting into church and, you know, doing all that. So I was like trying to do the right thing, but I still had, I basically had my foot in both doors. You know, I'm still going to the club, but I made sure I went to church or something. He gonna get in the shower, I go get in the shower with him. We don't do nothing. We get out the shower. So we hung out that day from October 26, 2012. We just seen each other every day, except for probably like three months all together. Well, four months all together. Because December, I went out of town for like a week with my mama and my son to see my family in Ohio. And I had left him my car and everything. Like, we was cool. When I came back, he was like, will you move in with me? Now, mind you, when we first, like, started talking and all that, he was like, I don't want no girl leaving her stuff at my house. Ain't nobody gonna move in with me. He ready for that type of stuff. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. We might do another story time with him. We've been together ever since. Like, he was talking to other girls and stuff. We weren't, like, in a relationship. But we was together. Like, I moved in with him before we even became boyfriend and girlfriend. I used to help him talk to other girls. We, in the beginning, we was just friends. Like, he was cool to be around. I was cool to be around. We was young. We was living life. It was what it was, you know? We did all kind of stuff. Like, we was always together. Like, we, we loved being around each other. He never wanted me to leave. I used to be mean to him because he would be mean to me. Everybody be like, he ain't mean. Whatever he mean, <laughs> he is so mean. He can be real mean, but he will always get me back. One time he did something and we ended up getting into it like in the very beginning. After he had asked me to move in with him, we had been living together probably like a month and he did something and I took all my stuff and packed up the car and went to our friend's house and he was calling me and stuff. I went answer at first and then I started answering and he was being mean and I was like, whatever, like I'm not dealing with you no more. I guess he talked to his friends, I don't know what happened. And they was like, dude, if you like her, you better, you know, get her back, blah, blah, blah. So he called me on the phone and he was like, you know, can you just come talk to me real quick, blah, blah, blah. And I went over and he had two of his friends over there. And he was like, you know, he want me to come back. And he's sorry. He didn't mean it. Um, he ain't used to this and all that kind of stuff. And I was just like, in the, I was like, whatever. 
whatever. No, you so mean. Like, all my stuff in the car. I can't even fit nobody else in the car. I got so much stuff in the car. And he was like, you know, just apologizing, warning me. And I fell for it because I really liked him. And all I really wanted him to do was say he was sorry because he was so mean for no reason. Like, people thought I was the mean one. The, the only thing about me is I am who I am with the door closed, That the same person I am with the door open. It's size of him that people don't even know that he don't show, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? But... That's just not who I am. The same way I treat you in the dark, I'm going to treat you when everybody around because I feel like that's fake. Don't act like you being all nice to me because people around, then as soon as it's me and you, you want to be mean and say some little slick stuff. I'm not with it. I'm a, the same I'm, I'm the same person. I came and stayed and his friends end up leaving. And after we all chilled for a little bit, his friends end up leaving. And then he was like, was I going to bring my stuff back in from the car? And I was like, no, I'm not bringing it back in. If you want me here, you're going to take all of it out the car and put it where it go. And he did because that was his fault. Like, I had to pack all that stuff up by myself. You got to put it up this time. If you want me here, this is what's going to happen. Like, when it comes to men, you have to know your worth. You got to know what you will and will not deal with, what you can withstand. Because the things I can withstand, who I am, other people can't withstand that. I done been in abusive relationships before, all that kind of stuff. Stuff like that I'm not dealing with no more, physical or mental abuse, ever again. Like, it takes a toll on you. It changes you. So if that's the kind of relationship people want, I wasn't going for that. And I wasn't going to let nobody be mean to me, especially somebody that, you know, is getting the real me. Like, he got all of me. Me and him would sit up and talk for hours, all day. He would miss stuff because we sitting up talking, like, always together. People did not like that because he was a lazy man. He had so many women, like, in the beginning, I'd be walking out, one be walking in or I be walking in won't be walking out or they be there at the same time he had a whole group of them at the house at the same time he he was sleeping with all of them not at this like not at one time but he was messing around with all the girls that was at his house but some of them girls was naive they didn't know they had never like been in a relationship even one of our mutual friends he was messing with the girl that originally introduced us he was messing with her like and she was a virgin so she ended up falling in love with him me and her stopped being friends because she basically lied to me i'm the type of person if my friend messing with somebody i'm not gonna mess with them like i'm not gonna talk to them i'm not gonna show them no kind of attention none of that even though people say they not attracted or want to be with somebody at the end of the day if you sleeping with somebody it's some kind of emotion there you're not gonna give a person that piece of you and there's nothing there unless you just don't have nothing there at all. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't even have them kind of feelings at all. But most of the time, especially if you'd have been a virgin and you'd have gave somebody that, that's a big thing. And most girls fall in love with the person that they gave their virginity to and he took a couple girls virginity, okay? Like I felt bad for her at the same sense of being mad at her. I was mad at her because she didn't tell me because if she would have, I would have never talked to him. And I was sad because she was my friend and now I was attracted to him and attached to him and I didn't want to let that go. And I knew that he was going to choose me over her even though she was like madly in love with him because he didn't want to be with her, it was more about the intimacy, which was like, that was sad for me. Like, I didn't want him to do her like that, but I also didn't understand why she couldn't just come out and tell the truth. Cause she did like a whole scenario. She had one of their other friends pretend to be her boyfriend and like make them jealous and all this other stuff. Like while we was talking and I just didn't understand, like in at the end, I didn't understand why she couldn't just come out and say it, but they was younger than me. So I kind of understood it. Like young people play games. They really do and I like I haven't seen her since that incident you know ain't no hard blood ain't no bad blood no nothing like that but back then I was angry I was very angry because I know her and she's like a very godly person you know she's a very godly girl she's a very good girl and I just couldn't believe that that was the stuff she was doing like she was I felt played a little bit you being my friend I said friend because I use that term lightly because I don't believe in friends. We just seen each other after that and everything cool. You know, I'm not got no bad blood. It is what it is. Y'all get over it at the end of the day. I mean, him married now, so <laughs> I just wanted to let y'all know some of the stuff I did today, what I went through today, give y'all a little muck muck, you know. I couldn't eat all this stuff. I tried to eat as much as I could. It's a lot. I, I know my daughter wants some, so she gonna probably tear this stuff up. You hear me? 
Oh, excuse me, all these bears. But I hope y'all like this video. I hope, 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 hope y'all come back and see me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Below, 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 below. And come back and see my next video. I should be uploading really soon. Whatever you guys want to see, make sure you let me know. I love you all. Much love, much kisses, much blessings. Bye.